Hi guys, welcome back. Welcome back to my hands. I don't know. Uh, I wanted to just run through the new to me, but new uh, Spellbinders kit of the month. I get the Glimmer and Cut kit of the month. Kit of the month. Club kit. <laughs> and um, I, I love it. I was excited when this launched. I was excited to get it. A uh, couple things though. <laughs> One is the foil that I got is the rainbow confetti. Not an issue because I'm sure I'll use this on many things. But I believe there should have been like a blue sort of foil or something themed towards the ocean which is kind of what this whole theme is. So I will definitely just send them a quick email and ask them. I know they do say that the foil varies so it could just be that this is what I got and that's fine um, but just so you know the the one that was sort of launched with it was a, a sort of shim I think it was like a like a pale blue ish anyway we got foil then the glimmer of the month uh, for June 2023 is called sending waves and it's these two different styles of waves so these guys in the middle here are the foiling dies or plates and then there's an outline that will die cut around the edge of each of these pieces so there's four dies that will cut out or cutting dies and then <laughs> my cat's in here as well and then there's a foil sentiment that says sending you an o no sending an ocean of thanks so isn't that cute and then this is the sort of thing you can do with it so you could foil onto two shades of like blue and you'll get a sneak peek of these in a minute um, and just sort of create this lovely wave thing. Now anybody who knows me knows I love the ocean so <laughs> this was totally up my alley so I'm excited. And then the small die of the month is Dancing Octopus and Friends. Um, I'm in love. He moves. This little circular thing here means that his some of his tentacles will move. Um, depending how you attach it. <laughs> Very cool. Um, so the other thing that I had, and I've never had this with him, is that I actually got two of the same dies. So they both say hey. Um, I believe the other one should have said yay. <laughs> so hey and yay. <laughs> so um, again, I'm just going to let them know that that's what landed up in my my you know kit. Just so they're aware in case they get other, other people asking about it. But there's like seaweed and starfish and three pieces for your your what's this thing called octopus there's even a movable moving um jellyfish so cool more seaweed another starfish i think this one layers with this one so you could have like a different color on top as to underneath or you could use them on their own and then you've got these like stick things that create the um the sign so you've got this outer piece that will create like the wood plank and then you can put either, or in my case the same, <laughs> um, message in there. So um, yeah, so that's why it's not one piece so that they gave you two options. Well, most of you will get two options. So this is the sort of thing you can do um, with it. So you can create a little sign, you can be holding it. That's just the cutest thing. <laughs> and then we have the large die of the month which is the whale in a bottle. Now, I'm in love. You could do a ton of things with this. This creates like a big glass bottle that you can then create a little scene inside of it. So if you remember, like this is an ocean theme thing, but you could easily use this to create, uh, I can't remember what they're called, but they were like these weird shaped glass terraniums terrani terrani I don't know what they're called anyway and they were like huge in like the 80s and stuff and used to put little plants inside this thing and you could easily create a scene in here for any time of the year so this is ocean themed obviously but you could have plants succulents you could have like a whole spring thing in here you could fill it with bugs for Halloween you could have like goo and stuff <laughs> I think Halloween or you could have it kind of like a Christmas scene that would be really pretty as well so I just I love the versatility of the of the uh, the jar itself um, and then you have a little sign here that says for you 
I think that's the only sign but I think the other ones will fit in there as well or if you've got smaller things um, like stamps and that that you can stamp so that's why that's also separate so you can use the tag as a stamped thing or to stamp on and then you've got a whale my favorite creature and then you have some um, these other pieces here make up like the waves not this bit but these pieces create like the waves to create that sort of wave <laughs> wave effect um, and you can have them in different shades of blue or white or whatever color you can have a pink ocean if you want um, and then there's the splashes for the top of the whale and then the cork top which I think this bit goes with as well to create the cork to go in the bottle and then some seaweed a little rock you know stuff to create your scene and also you can use the outer edge of this to create its own card base so it could be like a standalone card or a shaped card, the word I'm looking for. So lots of things you could, oh, you could also, if you turn it this way, you could do like a ship in a bottle. Hello. <laughs> there, there you go, another idea. And then if you, if you want to do that, you just have, and you want to add the card, you can just use it, put your fold on this side. Um, actually, you would do that for this way as well, but anyway. <laughs> Um, but you could have it that way so it stands up this this way rather than this way if that made any sense anyway this is the kind of thing you can create with the dies themselves from this so very cool I just I love him <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this guys I know it's a bit um I'm probably late I'm a little behind with everything um I will create some stuff with this I'll see if I've got some other color um foils not sure how rainbow waves and well, that might work maybe mermaids that could work too um i'll see what other things i can come up with you know with some um, other foils that i've got and then i will show you how these go together and we'll create stuff like we do on here <laughs> so i hope you enjoyed this guys i hope this gives you a little idea of what's in this kit and uh for june 2023 from spellbinders and i will see you in the next one guys bye for now Oh, and, wait, woo, um, <laughs> before I go, um, I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers, so if anybody knows anybody who wants to enjoy some of this madness on my channel of crafting and creating stuff, like we do, then please, by all means, share, like, subscribe, and um, try and spread the word for me. <laughs> I really, really would appreciate it. Um, yeah. Thanks so much, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.